Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mioni of Ace Games TV, and today I'm on the Miss of Pandaria beta. Today we're looking at the level 87 Warlock specific spell, the Demonic Gateway. In this video we shall be looking at where Demonic Gateway can be used best in PvE raid situations, along with a list of pros and cons for weaknesses and strengths of this level 87 ability. So without further ado, let's have a look at the spell and go from there. At first glance, the Demonic Gateway obviously has its raid utility, and we're going to be looking at that in a moment. Firstly, we're going to look at the limitations. So, the limitation number one is that this has a minimum range of 20 yards from your current location, so it can't be any less distance away from you than 20 yards to place your portal. It has to be at least 20, and a maximum of 70 yards in front of you. The Demonic Gateway itself has a 5 second cast timer and uses 10% of your base mana. Now what this spell does is it creates a Demonic Gateway between two locations. Stepping into the Gateway causes any party member to be instantly transported to the other Gateway. There is a limit of 5 charges and the portal generates 1 charge every 15 seconds, lasting for 10 minutes. So the potential use of this is before boss pulls, so you plan out where you want this and you can place it down, because of 10 minute duration you have no worries about it disappearing, and also whilst it's up early it can be generating the extra charges since it only starts with the one to begin with. Or you could use this later in a fight for a situation where you might need to pop this in a particular phased area. An example of this might be the Halion encounter, where this could have been extremely useful to avoid the Twilight Cutter um, by simply porting the raid from one location to the other. Limitation number two is obviously pathing and line of sight. The portal cannot be used anywhere where there is pathing issues. For example, I can't place this on a raised area and port from a lower ground to a higher ground or vice versa. And obviously it has to be in line of sight of the other portal. For example, here I am trying to place a portal the other side of this invisible barrier. Uh, this is part of the Motion Palace, I believe, just an area outside where we've got this invisible wall in the center. Um, I can't cast it the other side simply because of the invisible wall and not having a line of sight or a line of pathing. Uh, so it has to be a straight line of path that you can walk along yourself. I just thought I'd include this little clip of a little bug I found. If you cast the Demonic Gateway into an ocean area or a lake in this situation, it is in direct line of sight of me, so I can cast it. But the other Demonic Teleport area is completely gone. You cannot return from whence you came, essentially. So that's, that's an interesting little bug, not really that useful, but I found that quite funny anyway. I don't know how I found that. So obviously Demonic Gateway has massive uses because obviously if you are in line of sight of somewhere and there is a massive AoE on the ground in between you, for example I'm using this waterfall, uh, pretending that's fire on the ground in a particular fight situation, I can actually safely get over there without burning to death quite easily now and so can the rest of the raid if it's actually got enough charges. So yeah, the Demonic Gateway is a really cool utility to have in PvE situations, and I would wager there are some PvP situations where this might be of some use as well, especially on flags and such. So yeah, this is a really cool one. Be sure to leave a like below if you have liked this video and want to see more from Miss of Pandaria, and be sure to subscribe to Ace Games TV for daily WoW and other games content from a wide variety of directors. My name is Mioni of Ace Games TV, thank you for watching my video, and I'll see you next time.